Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. That's a great idea, Mariana. Waste oil. No use to us. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. You're right. We'd be totally fucked. No doubt about it. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Every bit helps. Acetylene. Handy for welding, but not much else. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Some sort of fuel tank. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right.
Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Shit, locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. locked all right here goes nothing <clears throat> fuck yeah look at all that fuel this is gonna take a while Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Locked. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Place is decked out. Well, it looks pretty comfortable and pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress, someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kind of cozy in here. The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes. <laughs> kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. 
cool. You can have your own. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Look, it's just a nice break. We get to spend the night with four walls instead of four wheels. And I think we deserve that. Whatever. It's fine. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. They're out scouting around. But they'll be back soon. They're not gonna be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here, waiting to make an ambush. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey, you assholes in there! I got your boy! If you don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on. You first. You get ambushed by your own people. That shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. Look, we hardly took any. Uh, really, someone must have been here before us. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling. <clears throat> You're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. Fuck! Guys, get the fuck in here! Holy shit! Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. 
just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. You have to go back. My family's back there. Hey, you gotta listen to me. There's a herd coming, a massive one, and Yeah, we... and that's why we're driving away from it. Please, just stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Not what it looks like to me. Looks like you can handle yourself just fine. That's not what I meant. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Cause I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. You stopped it, all right. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so.
Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. You shot the other guy. Well, you didn't tie me up and stick me in a truck. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. <sighs> so... Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just... Keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh... Well, uh, Kate helped. She did... Most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! <sighs> there! Get to the gate! Let's keep going! You'll open up! Shit! Open up! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it! Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. 
Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's, what's up? My family, they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Wonder if it's loaded. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Hm. Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. <laughs> Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. 
We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was- Stop, just stop talking. And you, thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor, she'll fix you up. Till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, you come to the right place. I could use a doctor. You know one? I'm not a doctor, but these days, EMT is the best you're gonna get. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. Call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. Well, uh, you know, thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. I wasn't getting any rest tonight anyway. Might as well keep busy. But I appreciate the thank you. So, I have to ask, is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. You put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. News travels fast around here. Yeah, you heard right, that was me. Nothing like making new friends, huh? Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <sighs> I've never understood it. I'd be a lot more comfortable with dashing. Ooh, or debonair, maybe. <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, right. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger, but that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Huh. I kind of like her style. She doesn't take any shit, she does what the hell she wants, and she's a free spirit. Yeah, well, she's a wounded soldier if you ask me. Well, right now I need her. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. I'm the one who's lucky. I'm not sure I'd have made it this long without the three of them. Hang in there. You're gonna find them. <laughs> Let go of me! There you go. Trip. what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Because frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight, all three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Well, wait a second. 
Why are you helping me? <laughs> Who wouldn't want to help someone as dashing as yourself? God, gross. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. Our deal doesn't include me lying for you. You attacked him, and then you murdered him. I didn't mean to. I had no idea the gun would go off. <sighs> Just goes to show you. You can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... I'm done talking. The doctor lady said she'd be a while, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night.